Alright, welcome back to another video. This is going to be more hip-hop content, and basically what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to show you guys how I basically review albums uh, with a little bit of a template that I used uh, a few years back. Um, and it was actually very, very useful. Um, it helped me out a, little, a whole lot, and let's just get straight into it. And before we get into this, I want to let y'all know that this is very, very complicated, so... You may want to come back and pause a few times to literally come back through the video because sometimes there will be times where if you don't understand it, please make sure to just repeat back and you'll be fine. And also, if you do do have any questions hip-hop-wise, please tell me in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the album review template. Uh, I had to make sure everything was in set before anything. Else. We have lyrics, artistry, creativity, rhythm patterns, flow, figurative language, and then overall. We have a lot here when it comes to the goal tier conversation, so high expectations are very much important as we literally go through everything. Now, um, here's how it's going to go down. If you get a 10 out of 10 out of all of these, you get around maybe 60, and then literally divide that by 6, and you will get the actual rating which is a 10 out of 10 if you get like an 8 point something it will be a different percentage and a different rating so pretty much it's going to be like that and it's a simple way of actually like putting it through because if you have studied long enough at least long enough to keep yourself in place there's no reason for you to be that organized on simple creativity album review template there's just no reason because otherwise you're just going to have a hard time keeping up with every single thing so that's why i think this is just an easier way to literally set it up if you already have the knowledge of what music is good and what is bad if you cannot tell the difference between them both then again it's going to be tough for you to literally have this type of template so please keep in mind that these are very important now there's going to be an elephant in the room that I may want to talk to you guys about, and that is artistry and creativity. The reason I want to talk about artistry and creativity is artistry is talking, or more like, basically, speaking your mind and visually painting the story that you are literally creating for your fans in words, if that's a good way to say it. So pretty much... It's very, very easy. You basically jot down everything. They go through the lyrics, and then they listen to you. And then, as they close their eyes, they vivid the picture that's literally, literally going through their minds as you basically talk. It's very simple. Pretty much like visual art. In a sort of way. Creativity is about what the album is trying to portray and what it's trying to represent. Especially when you're trying to at least make a good album and most importantly a very creative album that would inspire a lot of people so that's something that is very very important now you guys already know about rhythm patterns and flows but if you have not figured that out rhythm and patterns and flows are very very important because rhythm patterns you have to figure out a way to have a mastery at specifically being offbeat and on beat it is very, very, very important that certain artists practice that because there are times where certain artists have actually like wrapped off beat, but still had at least a solid on creativity, artistry, and creativity flow and figurative language. I'll give you a prime example: MF Doom. He rapped so off beat around the times that he's actually rapped for a long time. His rhythm patterns were at least around a 7.5, while the rest of them were like like at least an eight or a nine so yeah these are very very important is what i'm saying flow definitely important considering the fact that how flow has been a literal part of the rap game for a very long time ever since bone thugs and harmony including tech and twista so it is what it is and figurative language is also an important one because there is a specific artist that i remember and anyone could remember who created an album called Oxymoron. And it was probably by far one of the best albums that I've ever reviewed. And this is the prime example of someone who can literally make an entire album 
out of one figurative language or make a song maybe two to three songs that revolves around a figurative language if you can do that you could easily get a solid eight and a nine and that's easy and overall it's just literally getting everything in total so that pretty much sums it up um if you guys have any questions please tell me in the comments down below uh leave a like if you want more um other than that actually no before you go uh as you guys look at this video, a new video will be coming out about a new album review that um, I've never really posted on the channel because I wanted to actually um, keep it simple, keep it straight because I wanted to make sure everything was in place. Otherwise, I just didn't want to do that. But um, there will be an album review coming after this one, uh, this little tutorial. So please uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, other than that, guys, this one's that, guys. Later. My